Hey guys, welcome back to Calgary Barbell in Calgary, Alberta. Today was another equipped day here at the Strength Edge. I did my equipped squat and bench. And first things first, squat went really, really well. Uh, I was chatting with a buddy of mine up in Cold Lake, Brody, and he and I decided we were gonna kind of throw down uh, this last week and this week and see who could squat a little more. He got three singles at 330 kilos. I got one single today at 332 kilos. So up in the ante and we'll see what he comes up with next week. The bench went pretty well today. I actually put on a size 50 uh, regular Super Katana, not low cut, uh, that I got from uh, second hand from a buddy here in Calgary. And it went pretty well actually. Uh, I worked up to 190. Fuck yeah. There you go buddy which was pretty awesome. Uh, went up to 195, missed that twice. <laughs> Shoulder, man. It just like gives out. <laughs> it's not coming back at all. It's just like, it just goes straight, straight up. out. Uh, I'm just still not strong enough to keep my shoulders in position in the shirt, so I can't, I can't set my shoulders far back enough. So therefore, when I come down, my shoulders roll up, and then I'm, my shoulders are rolled up and forward when I go to press. So I can't bring the bar back over my face very well, which ends up with me getting to about here where the shirt gives out and just dying. Um, so I need to get stronger. So the other thing I wanted to talk about a little bit was I touched on the interplay between my left shoulder and my right hip and all the issues I've been having with my right hip. Uh, and the more I play with it, the more I'm very, very certain that locking my left shoulder into position when I'm doing lower body movements, my squats, my deadlifts, uh, split squats, I mean, honestly, just bending over to pick up a, a bench to put back in the ER rack, little things like that. If my left shoulder is locked in properly, I don't get that same rotational force in my spine and I don't feel my hip injury at all. Uh, so I think I've finally figured out what the mechanic is for me that sets that off and it's that my left shoulder doesn't lock properly that it makes sense because my entire my entire lifting career i've deadlifted overhand with my left and underhand with my right so it makes sense to me that i have less external rotation less control in some of those scapular stabilizers in my left shoulder and that's been leading to me tending over this way and onto my right hip a little bit so whenever I can correct that, things move way better. My hip doesn't hurt. Um, so I'm hoping to see some push up in my raw numbers over the next little while. I'm hoping to be able to push that up, knowing what I know in my shoulder. It's just gonna depend on how well I can keep it locked in when the weights start to get heavier. Make sure I don't default into those, those crappy movement patterns. But um, Tomorrow will be deadlifts in the suit again. I'm gonna shoot for that 804 uh, and try to hold on to it this time. And hopefully that works out well for me. We'll see you guys next video. Like, subscribe, and comment.